uh, offense kind of had a little better day today compared to the first two scrimmages. Is, is that is that a fair assessment? I know it was more situational. It wasn't quite like the first two, but the offense had a little better day, at least in your mind? Yeah, I'd say so. Just, just from... Uh, uh, from the standpoint of coming out and attacking first, uh, the first two scrimmages we kind of got off to a slow start. The first one we got off to a really slow start. The second one was even uh, was a little bit faster than this one. Uh, uh, we came out the way we wanted to, so mm-hmm. I was really happy with that, and I was happy uh, you know, with how, how we executed. And I thought uh, you know we definitely progressed. How do you feel about you know camps over? How do you feel about kind of going into game week mode now? I mean, it's here whether you like it or not. But do you feel pretty good about where things stand with you, the offense, and and, and things like that? Yeah, you know. I'd, I love our guys on defense, but I get a little tired going against them for <laughs> two weeks straight. Uh-huh. So it'll be good to, uh, to shift our focus uh, against a uh, very good Texas team. And, uh, you know, now we're just preparing for that and uh, brushing some things up and seeing what we can do to, mm-hmm. to uh, find ways to beat them. What was it like to have Chris back out there today? I mean, he's obviously a guy you're familiar with, a very important part of this team last year. Obviously, he's been in camp with you, but not in the scrimmage. Does that make a big difference today, too? Yeah, I was just, you know, I... You know, I, I know as an offense, we feel comfortable when Chris is out there. You know, and that just says, you know, that speaks volumes about the kind of player he is and the kind of guy he is, you know. Like that touchdown, you know, he's just a natural football player. And we're on the same page, which is great for me. You know, like uh, he, he was uncovered. He completely called off his route and just was calling for the ball, and I threw it to him. Uh, you, know, that, you know, he just has that natural instinct of, uh, of, um, of a good football player. Mm-hmm. Talk about maybe some of these uh, young running backs that you have, you know, DJ May and Sean, especially Sean today. Um, that seems like they both had some moments, but Sean really had some big moments today. Do you like uh, what maybe these, not that nothing that Brandon or Cody, none of those guys can't do, but do you like what these young kids can, can bring to this offense? Absolutely. Yeah, just, you know, you saw some of the runs today with how hard Sean runs. And, you know, he runs with determination, and that's something I love because, uh, uh, yeah, that that's that's kind of the way that I try to play as well, uh, and to see you know the uh, the you know the fierce way he runs mm-hmm. and, and you know he, he runs with emotion and that's that's awesome. And DJ's you know got a lot of speed. Sean does too, but but DJ is just kind of a you know, crazy athlete and he's able to get out in space and just make things happen. Mm-hmm. You know, you get get ready for game week. Have you thought much about Texas so far, or where do you start thinking now, or or have you thought about it quite a bit already? Well, I've thought about it quite a bit already. You know, just now it's it's actually here. So now uh, I guess we're going to put a little more of an emphasis on uh, on how we can beat them mm-hmm. rather than trying to beat the defense. Gotcha. Our defense. Super. All right.